we're going to make a uh, fun and fancy bookmark for you today and it will um, promise to dress up any book whether it be depressing or um, scary or whatever it will make you smile uh, this is one example that I did a few weeks ago for myself um, with my initial and uh, we use the cuddle bug to do that and the one we're making today is a little bit more sophisticated and uh, the best part about it is the paper that we're using and so I wanted to make sure that I mention uh, this new collection that we're going to carry. We actually got this uh, from the CHA show in Florida last week and it's called C or I'm sorry SEI paper and it's by the Moravia collection and some of the cool features about it is that it comes in a mixture of you know the colors with foil it also has some velvet touches to the paper and um, I think you will find that it is really different and unique and will work great for a lot of your um, home accents and um, more sophisticated projects at home so we're going to use uh, these papers and you also will need uh, our favorite cuddle bug machine, which I'm sure all of you have. And if you don't, you better run and get one because they are the best. And uh, we're also going to be using our cuddle bug um, die cuts. Uh, the Harmony Collection is the one that we're using, but we carry several different alphabets. This one's Fancy Pants. Check those out on our website. You're going to need Terrifically Tacky Tape to adhere it all together. Um, our famous Tim Holtz scissors, which we use for everything here and at home and a little bit of ribbon and um, you should be ready to go. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, after you picked your papers we chose this as our base for our bookmark and um, uh, this is seven by three and a half um, so we already cut that out for you. We also marked it halfway um, with a little pencil mark so that you can do your folds. So the first thing we're going to take the left side and we're going to fold it down. Then we're going to take the right side and you want to be sure to overlap a bit so that you could adhere the back together. Like, like that. And then there's, you see there's a slight overlap right there. And I'm going to go ahead, I've already cut um, my tacky tape. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that for you. So you're going to take um, take your paper, put it behind the cut. You're going to make your sandwich with your um, cuddle bug machine first with the A color. Or I'm sorry, the A um, spacer block, and then I'm, the A goes down first. Then your B. Then put your die cut on the top and sandwich it with your other B and then run it through your machine. Make sure it cuts nicely. You want to run it back one more time. Let's see how we did. So you have this cute little doily, if you will. All right, and next I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to cut out my letter and I'm going to do the same thing. I used a coordinating paper but more of a plain color for my letter. Uh, next we chose this super awesome paper with the foil and we're going to take it and we're going to wrap it around. Hopefully you can see this. We're just going to place it and then fold down at the edges. Okay, and then turn it over. I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom of both sides. And again, take some of my terrifically tacky tape and adhere the sides down. So, so far we have this. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little circle doily that I have and I'm going to um, slit some little side holes so I could take ribbon through.
with my cutting knife. Go ahead and get some glue. And adhere that. But first, I'm going to go ahead and thread my ribbon through the bottom. And back in. That's just going to add a little touch. You don't have to use the ribbon, but I think it's awfully cute. So we're going to go ahead and adhere that on over the second layer. And lastly, we're going to adhere our letter on with a little, the finest bit of glue. Zig glue might work really good too for this. And maybe the next time I do this, I'll uh, do the darker side of the letter because you can hardly see my letter. But this is your finished bookmark. And I think that this would be great um, as a gift or for yourself to dress up any page of your book when you're wanting to save your place. So enjoy reading.